Yo, what's up guys? My name is Fosh TV, and today we're gonna be checking out something that was just sent to me by... I don't know. Let's check this out then. It's uh, by Kurkzat. Kur Kur I have no idea how to pronounce his name. But okay, so today we're gonna be reacting to the most dangerous stuff in the universe, Strange Stars Explained. I have no idea. Oh, and by the way, there was a picture of a black hole that came out, right? Ooh, amazing. I expected like, wow, damn, HD, but it's the first of the kind. So maybe I'll just allow it for this instance, okay? Like, like I'm sem supposed to be like the boss of s or something. Like Neutron stars are the densest things that are not black holes. In their cores, we might find the most dangerous substance in existence. Strange matter. A bizarre thing so extreme that it bends the rules of the universe and could infect and destroy everything it comes into contact Star matter. With. Or it could teach us about how the universe began. Oh. Maybe both. Okay. To understand how extreme strange matter really is, we first need to get a few basics. Yeah, what is no. a neutron star, and how does strange matter break the rules of the universe? To get all of this into one video, we'll grossly oversimplify a few things, but we'll provide you with further reading if you want more details. A neutron star is what remains after a very massive star explodes in a supernova. Oh! When this happens, the star's core collapses under its own gravity with such a strong inward force that it squeezes nuclei and particles together violently. Okay. Electrons are pushed into protons, so they merge and turn into neutrons. All the nothing inside of atoms is suddenly completely filled with particles that really don't want to be close to each other, but have no choice. All right. They desperately push back against gravity, against the collapse. If gravity wins, they will become a black hole. If they win, they become a neutron star. Oh. This makes neutron stars I see. like giant atomic nuclei the size of a city, but holding the mass of our sun. And here, things get weird. To be honest, I have learned way much more in this channel than about, you know, about our Earth and the universe than I did in my science subject. Now let that slide in. And let's just watch. The environment in the core of neutron stars is so extreme that the rules of nuclear physics change. And this could lead to a strange and extremely dangerous substance. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We first need to know the rules before we learn how. Hey, to I've seen that duck somewhere. Protons and neutrons, the, black the one. particles making up the nuclei of atoms, are made up of smaller particles called quarks. Quarks, quarks. really? Oh, oh, quarks! Yeah. They are what we call confined. You can try to separate them, but the harder you pull, the harder they try to pull themselves back together. If you use a lot of energy, they just use this energy to create new quarks. Quarks only exist together as the building blocks of other particles and have never been observed so arrogant. themselves. They come in many types, but only two appear to make stable matter. The up and down quarks found in protons and neutrons. All other quarks seem to decay away quickly. But this may be different inside neutron stars. Okay. The forces operating in their cores are so extreme that they are actually similar to the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Neutron star cores are like fossils, which can let us peer back in time to the beginning of everything. So learning how that is an eye. Oh my God! Neutron star is this um... is a way of understanding the very nature of the universe itself. One hypothesis is that inside a neutron star core, protons and neutrons deconfine. <laughs> All the particles crammed shoulder to shoulder dissolve and melt into a sort of bath of quarks. Uncountable numbers of particles become one giant thing made purely from quarks. Quark matter. A star made from this is called a quark star. Oh. But from the outside, it may not look any different than a regular neutron star. Now we can finally talk about the most dangerous substance. What is it? If the pressure inside a quark star is great enough, it may get stranger. Literally. 
in the cause what, of is that Hulk? Stars, <laughs> some of the quarks may be converted into strange quarks. Strange quarks. Strange quarks have bizarre uh, properties and they are heavier. So now we're getting into the topic after explanations. We're getting into the topic. And for the lack of a better word, stronger. If they turn up, they could create strange matter. Strange matter might be the ideal state of matter. Okay. Perfectly dense, perfectly stable, All right. indestructible. More stable than any other matter in the universe. So stable that it can exist outside neutron stars. Okay. If this is the case, we have a problem. It might be infectious. Every what, piece cancer? of it touches might be so impressed by its stability that it would immediately turn it into strange matter too. Oh, so if I touch it, I become strange matter. But, but, I won't be the same because I'm already strange. No one likes... ...and become part of the quark bath which frees energy and creates more strange matter. The only way to get rid of it would be to throw it into a black hole. <laughs> Yeah, but that's then right. again, who cares? All of it is inside neutron stars. Except when neutron stars collide with other neutron stars it's, or black it's holes, out here. they spew out tremendous amounts oh, of Oh, see, sides, I knew that. Some of which could include little droplets of strange matter called strangelets. Strangelets are so cute! As the core of strangelets. A they could be really small, maybe even subatomic, but even the largest strangelets wouldn't be any bigger than a rocket. Uh, These strangelets would drift through the galaxy for millions. It wouldn't be any bigger than a rocket. You think we're bigger than a rocket? So, so technically, what he's trying to say is that that this strange, sh strange matter, you know, the biggest ones, is not as big as a rocket. But we are. Tiny in comparison to a rocket, okay? Even the tallest man alive. So, what he's saying is that a drop of uh, strange matter is as big as a human. Billions of years until they meet a star or planet by chance. What? If one were to strike Earth, it would immediately start converting it into strange matter. Oh shit! The more it converts, the more it just one touch. Ultimately, all of the atoms making up Earth would be converted. Earth would become a hot clump of strange matter. <laughs> an asteroid. If a strange lit strikes the sun, it would collapse into a strange star, eating through it like fire through a dry forest. All right, so this is insanely strong it eats everything this would not change i don't feel so good the sun's mass much but it would become way less bright so earth would freeze to death and like a tiny virus we'd have no way to see a strange lit coming worse still some theories suggest strange lits are more than common outnumbering all stars in the galaxy Oh shit. These strangelets could have formed very early after the Big Bang, when it was as hot and dense as a neutron star core everywhere. They might be clumping around the gravity of galaxies as the universe expanded and evolved. Strangelets could even be so numerous and massive that they might actually be the dark matter we suspect holds galaxies together. Alright, so I checked that's the end of the video. Don't 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 feel bad now. Um yeah, so I think that'll be it. But I'm just kidding, it's not the end of the video, man. Come on, let's go, man. Let's get out, man. Come on. Maybe not. This is speculation, and the Earth and Sun and planets haven't been consumed in a wildfire of strangelets in the past few billion years, so the odds seem good that it won't happen anytime soon. Understanding these strange objects today may be the key to understanding the birth of our universe and why it grew to look the way it does now. Okay. Does it actually look like that? First Green? With magnets and wires and thinking about electrons, they had no idea how technology would evolve in the next hundred years. The scientists thinking about the cause of neutron stars and strange matter today may be setting up humans for a future beyond our wildest imaginations. That is what I love. Or maybe not. Time will tell. All right. Um, that'll be it, guys. My name is Frost TV. Oh my God! What the hell is that? Woo! That's a butterfly. Whoa! I'm scared. What the heck is a butterfly doing in my in my in my room? Anyways, that's my pet John. So yeah, don't matter about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what? Strange matter. We are all strange matters. All of you, all all my subscribers are strange. You know why? Because I got around 750 subscribers, but I only get around 20 to 30 views. 
Why the fuck? I'm just kidding. Cool down. Cool down. So, uh, anyways. I forgot what I was gonna say. So, anyways, I'll be seeing you in the next video, guys. My name is Frost TV. And if you like this video, please sure, please sure, please sure. Wow! Please make sure to comment on this video and like. And I will be seeing you in the next video. My name is Frost TV. And peace. Be completed. Peace. No. Peace out. You stupid.